What's up, guys? It is Martin Thomas, and today I'm going to be making a Martin Tron tutorial on how to make scripted effects in decisions. And yes, I said decisions. And you, and you might be asking, how could you make? How could you do this if if you if uh, you did horribly on your decisions toward to tutorial in the last video? Well, here's a, here's the simple answer. I have learned from my mistakes, and I've actually built an entire system based on this for a mod I am working on, which will remain unnamed. Anyways. The first thing you're going to want to do is create a mod if you don't have one already. And in this tutorial, we're going to be making Napoleonic purity. Okay. So, in your mod first folder you're gonna make is common then inside there you're gonna make a decisions folder a scripted effects folder and then a scripted localization folder and in your scripted effects and your um I mean decisions folder you're gonna make another folder called categories first thing you're gonna want to do is after that is make a file in your scripted effects called uh, scripted effects Now you're going to want to put that file inside of your text editor or script, whatever you use. And we're going to be making, we're going to put effect, open bracket, closed bracket. And you're going to want to... Do this. Make your effect for your country or whatever that you want to do. So we're going to do France. And we're going to be in the variable going to be called Napoleonic Purity. And that is it for this file. You will not be needing it. In the future, unless you want to refer back to your uh, effect name, ID, whatever. So, and then you're gonna want to make a file in your script localization folder, and you're gonna want to do this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. So here, this is scripted localization. Scripted localization is pretty simple. This is going to be like the name ID for your um, texts that you're going to be putting here. And so, we're just going to put Polyonic Purity. And this is the trigger. This will be what has to be fulfilled in order for this localization key to be uh, shown in the game. So you're going to want to copy and paste your variable name and paste it in the variable in the var equals. And then compare equals. 
So if you're if the point on purity has a value of z if it equals zero, it will show this localization key. And we're gonna make five different levels. So this is level one, level two. Level three, oops. level four, oops, crap, and then level five. This localization will be filled out in a localization file. You're also going to want to make two new folders in your main directory, history, and localization. Make sure you don't misspell these. That's very important. And inside your history folder, you're going to make a folder called countries. And you're going to want to copy and paste the uh, whatever country you're doing you're making this war. I'm doing France in this case. And you're going to want to put your variable, your effect or whatever. I keep saying variable, so sorry. But you're going to put your effect thing and put equals yes. This is very important. Localization, we'll get to later. Now, we are going to want to copy and paste the French decision decisions from vanilla. It's not that many, as far as I know. And here we go. So in here you're going to, in the French category file you're going to want to make a new category and you'll do this for your country and we're going to say f r a underscore Napoleonic underscore purity and this is only allowed if your original tag is the French one and then you're going to want to copy and paste your category inside here equals open curly bracket close curly bracket now you're going to just want to copy a decision in this will not take long increase purity get rid of this icon crap we'll get to that later and this is only available if you have the government democratic. So that means you can only do this decision if you are democratic. And here, you're going to have cost. Cost can be whatever. I'm just going to put one. Get rid of this. Get rid of this crap. What the hell is this? See, that's actually. Oh. Sorry, I'm such a. I'm so retarded. I just like to have everything like neat in the file. I want to be. Because it's much easier. So, in your complete effect, you're going to want to. Do this add to variable and here you're gonna want to copy and paste this in and var equals you're gonna put in a polonic pur purity or whatever your effect is and 
the value will be 25. So when you do this decision, it will put you next to the next level of the Napoleonic purity thing. Now you're nearly done. All you need to do is do localization, everybody's favorite thing. Yes, yeah, so localization is so much fun to do. I love to do it all the time. It's so fun to do. Anyways, copy and paste some localization file from vanilla. And rename it to whatever. Get rid of this garbage. And decisions first. So you go to your decision thing. And this is where the magic happens. So put your name for your category. And for your category, this is very important. Underscore desk. And do this. Your current amount of whatever is. This is very important. Put a bracket and put this capital T dot, and you're gonna want to go to your scripted localization file. And this is your use of your uh, scripted localization. Then effects and oops. Now you're going to want to put your levels. So now you have one. This is, um, say low. You can put colors if you want. Uh, I don't really feel like doing it. Um, put fluent. Moderate. We'll say is adequate. Oops. Hi. Then Son of a bitch. I'm so messy today. What the hell? Very high. And this should work. You're going to want to launch your game. And it is very important that you um, check that your uh, mod is enabled. So. Um, scripted effects. That, that's uh, something else. <laughs> I put. <laughs> oh my god, that could be that could be bad. But whatever. Just, anyway, just make sure your mod is enabled. That's it. And just wait to like ten seconds for the game to load. And you're in. Go to your nation and you're going to get your decision. Here it is. You're kind of out of diplomatic period as well. Watch this. It's affluent. And that is all for this tutorial today. I am very sorry I haven't been that active. I've had a very busy summer and I've been developing a very large mod. And I hope you have enjoyed. Um, uh, give feedback in the comments. I always love to have feedback. It is very good to create so I know what I can improve on. 
and I'd like to hear you and I'd like to hear some suggestions for uh, some future modding tutorials. Currently, I cannot make interface GFX and do anything with interface or scripted GUI. Uh, I can do basically anything else. Um, and that's it for today. Farewell. This was Morning Thomas, and farewell.